So, fantastic day out, fantastic yes. atmosphere, yes. massive challenge. Yeah. Huge. Um, what's your memories of your last marathon? Uh, overall, very positive. Um, I did a, a reasonable amount of training. It was 2006, so it was only 18 months, two years after I finished my rowing career. Yep. Um, I did a good amount of training um, with the aim of running, trying to break four hours. Uh, ran the first half in 155 and felt great. Disappeared off into the Docklands and came back out uh, a, <laughs> a bit behind man. that. A different <laughs> man, yes. Came back out kind of thinking all I need to do is run just a little bit quicker than this. I'm going to break four hours. Yeah. And I couldn't go any quicker. No. There's a, it, you know, there's obviously a balance on marathon. Well, in any part of exercise, between yeah. the amount you're drinking, um, there's a temptation when you've got a water bottle in your hand to drink it all. Yeah. Whereas what we were always told in the rowing team was, yeah, you have a water bottle in your hand, but you sip from it yeah. all the time, yeah. little and often, little and often. And so, you know, for an Olympic Games, we'd spend two weeks with a water bottle in your hand. If you so, got, got kind of yeah. caught without it, it was like, where's your water bottle? So healthy hydration at all times, not That's, just in competition. Exactly. You've got to be prepared to push yourself in the right direction. Yeah. And for me, what I learned last time is, don't go off too hard. Even yeah. five minutes, six minutes can, yeah. be, can make a big difference. Yeah. Don't get drawn into the cavalry charge at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, settle into your own pace, find your own pace. And, and then for, for me, what I'm visualizing is actually the tough time of the race for me is going to be two and a half hours to three and a half hours, that yeah. hour block. Yeah. You, you've got to kind of channel the excitement in the right way. You've got to use it, use the occasion of the day and use the pressure and use the excitement. Um, but not get overexcited because you know the, the course will be littered with people who go off too quick and run the first hour and think I'm going to completely throw away my race plan because this is going brilliantly. I feel like I've never felt before. This is going to be great. Um, so the first thing is if you've got a plan and you should have a plan, absolutely stick to it. Be really rigorous with yourself early on in the race to stick with it because it will get harder as the race goes on and when it gets harder then you need a reserve of energy to say right now I need to fight for this. Um, the, 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 the second part is be disciplined in the build up so for two or three days beforehand make sure you're eating right make sure you're drinking right yeah. you know and good hydration and good hydration good carbs you can't you can't over carb it yeah. you know you really can't yeah. you just need to top up your energy reserves here or you get to that start line absolutely you know Glycogen's topped up, topped up. As, as best you possibly can um, eat and drink on the way round yeah. certainly drink yeah. um, you can you do the version of eating with the kind of liquid you know, gels and, and, and drinks, yep. um, you're going to need to refuel on the way around. Yep. Um, and then finally enjoy it.